Hello there, Nana T here, and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about chicken. It's what's for dinner. So basically, I had been having a conversation with one of my dear friends, Carissa, and she said, Teresa, are you telling me that if you take that Enviro cloth and clean up raw chicken with it, that I'm not smearing that raw chicken all over my counter when I use it. And I said, yep, that's exactly what I'm telling you. And I wanted to make a video to prove that point. So we're going to show you the raw chicken demo. So this is what we're gonna do. First of all, I'm going to take some of our chicken. Oops. And we are now going to take this chicken and we're going, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're gonna hold off on the chicken for just a minute. I've got to do this the scientific way. So I was told that scientifically, what I needed to do was um, test my counter before I put any chicken on it. So what I'm gonna do, these are protein sticks. So I'm just running this all over my counter. And then what I'm gonna do is put this into the little tester and I'm gonna snap it. And if there's any protein on this counter, that would look purple. And as you can see, my counter is clean, okay? So we're gonna lay this tester aside for just a moment, and we are gonna take some of this chicken, and we are just going to literally rub that all over the counter, okay? Yeah, nice and nasty, ooh wee. Okay, so there we've got that. Now this is going in the trash. Get it out of the way, okay. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this test kit that showed absolutely no residue of protein in it, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rub this onto the counter where I rubbed all that nasty chicken, and you can already see it's turning purple. So when there is evidence of protein in on your counter or whatever, which is a representative of bacteria, right? Look how that green ointment turned to purple. That means there's protein on this counter and we do not want that, right? Okay, so I'm gonna lay, lay test kit number one aside and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take one of our Enviro cloths and I've intentionally folded this into four sections. That way we've got four different cleaning uh, areas to clean with without having to change out the cloth, okay? Or to rinse it out and um, not change it. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do so that you know what part of the cloth we're using, I'm using this side that's got the label and I'm just gonna lay this on my counter and I am going to clean up that area where I just smeared all that chicken on there, okay? Alrighty, now I'm gonna lay this aside. We're gonna pull out test kit number two well, I guess I should have unwrapped this, but that would have made life far too easy. So let's just not. Okay, so we're getting close. We'll have this baby out in a minute. Okay. Okay, so test number two is I am going to now take this and take this. Now remember, I just have raw chicken all over this. I wiped it with an Enviro that had nothing on it but water, okay? And now I'm testing the, ta the same counter area that I just did and look, nothing's showing up. We'll put it in here for the true test. And look, it's clean as can be. Now here's the cool part. Now you ladies know that I use this part of the cloth to wipe up my chicken. As a matter of fact, there's still a little piece of chicken on there. So I wanna show you that when you use this, because of the way our cloth is designed, it's designed to pick up the bacteria and remove it. That means it's not smearing it somewhere else. So let's see if I can put this clean, one that's shown green, onto the cloth that I use to wipe up my counter and let's see what happens. So I'm wiping this, now I'm not gonna put it right on the piece of chicken, but I'm wiping it all along the cloth that I just used, okay? and I'm going to put it back in here, shake it up, and look, it's still green. That means that when I'm using my Enviro cloth to clean my counter, ladies, I am not moving that bacteria around. And I'm not gonna name brands, but I'm just telling you, if you use any wipes 
that are um, like your 99% bacteria type cloths or wipes, read the back and read what you have to do for that to be effective. You have to keep your surface wet for anywhere from five to nine minutes, depending on what wipe you're using. So don't just take my word for it. Check the container the next time you're in the store. With that, I think that's covered everything. I hope you've enjoyed our chicken demo. Nanity out!